Hey, you watching this uh, Harry and Meghan? Uh, it's been painful. They come off like such whiny bitches. I gotta tell you, man. Howard Stern isn't holding back when it comes to his feelings about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new Netflix docuseries. And it's safe to say, he's not a fan. I will say what's on my mind, and sometimes that will rub people the wrong way. Is you know, that's my whole career. The radio personality weighed in on Harry and Meghan on his Sirius XM show Monday. When those two start whining about wah, 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 it's just very weird to watch two people who keep screaming, we wanted our privacy. And then what is their special that they put out on Netflix? Showing you them where and their kids and their life. It's like a, it's like the Kardashians, except boring. This is a couple who've been so fiercely protective of their privacy, and yet here they are invading their own privacy by putting those very private lives right in everyone's living room. And when E.T. chatted with royal expert Katie Nichol, she revealed that's the sentiment across the pond. I think most people over here are thinking, you left Britain because you didn't want the glare of the media, and yet here you are courting the biggest streaming giant on the planet. It seems so hypocritical you want to be left alone but then you sell a special on netflix where do you go with this is this your career talking about how humiliated you were being part of i don't know living in a castle it looks pretty terrific to me yeah like i said howard not a fan but he's not the only one harry and megan documentary i found it a little bit boring bethany frankel gave her two cents on tiktok it felt like this entire documentary was about how famous we are. If you're being trolled by the media, the royal family gave you the advice to say nothing because that's the advice that most very famous people are given. If you add gasoline to a fire, the fire blows up even bigger. And while Bethany isn't dishing out rave reviews for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Gail King said she couldn't wait to tune in during a stop by Watch What Happens Live. Do you it's give good. a damn about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new docu-series? Yes, I yes. can't wait. Yes, yes. yes. you can't I wait. Can't wait. Yes. She told me she would never do a reality show. But it's that's not, but yeah, that's, yeah, it's not right, a reality right, show. Yeah, that's called a reality it's show. Not, it's not, it's yeah, not a no, reality show. And Issa Rae, who was a guest on Megan's Archetypes podcast, told E.T. she was ready to hear what the couple had to say. I okay. saw the trailer, the trailer was, woo, I was like, they're about to go in, so I will, um, I will check it out. Marin Morris proved she's also Team Harry and Megan, coming to Meg's defense against the haters. This profound hatred and annoyance at Meghan Markle specifically, mostly coming from women, I have to say. People are saying like, oh, a woman should never take a man away from his family. That's all that this is. Um, have you seen this family? Volume two of the docuseries drops Thursday and a new teaser promises we'll see more of that family feud. They were happy to lie to protect my brother. They were never willing to tell the truth to protect us. So how does the royal family feel about the docuseries? I've spoken to senior palace aides who said they are reluctant to comment unless there is anything damaging, untrue or defamatory in this docuseries. They really don't want to be drawn into it. It's a case of keep calm and carry on.